Bloons map. You're choosing between different characters that have unique weapons and abilities. That kind of sounds like Brahalla, right? You also do a similar thing in Apex Legends, whether you want to play Pathfinder, whether you want to play Caustic, right? It kind of sounds like Brawlhalla. You have fast motion, you have Twitch gaming that you have from Apex Legends, being able to spray down someone in a heartbeat, find those headshots. You have the moment-to-moment -moment optimization of balloons. So many gaming skills that Kyler Alice practiced in Apex Legends and balloons preparing for this week. Uh, you know, if Kyler if Kyler were to play anyone with blasters, I would have been with him. You know, <laughs> played Xbox Legends. I, he only played pistols in Xbox Legends. He's like, already 45s and wingmans. I'm getting used to these blasters right now. Like, but unfortunately, he's here on the bridge. He's got the the primitive technology. Now he may, you know, maybe he has a maybe he has an axe heirloom for someone. Who knows? But either way. This game, he got knocked out Bra first. Brahala. So uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe he should have just practiced a little bit more Brahala. <laughs> I was oh, giving him man. benefit of the doubt because it's Kyler, man. He's the man in Australia, but so far definitely favoring the blue team. Almost in the red, he might be in the red on his second stock. Mm, okay. Oh, he tried oh. it. He was looking for it right there. Almost got it too. I mean, that was like right on point. Uh, jumped a little too close, I think. However. Yeah, the down the ground pound is gonna find this mark again. Not gonna be able to get back here with the easy down here. That's what we do. I mean, again, that is what, right now. Dummy has been the playmaker. You know, uh, he's very risk of reward off the stage, and it's been a lot, a lot, a lot of rewards right now. I mean, you, you saw know? him ground pound a hammer and come out on top. Doesn't quite have the uh, turnaround options coming from the red team here. There is a full wipe, but they don't have quite the, the turnaround options that you do on a hammer because there's no hammer on Bryn, there's no hammer on Koji. So maybe he is just going to be uh, the supreme ruler of the edge guards. Ooh. Okay. Joel tries, tries to find the stabs here as well, but now he's poking, but no one home. You know? He's looking for these neutral, uh, neutral uh, lights, but none of them really hit right now. Here we go. All right, that side stick is going to find its mark, though. As, oh, he was going to go for a side stick. Too. It definitely would have hit both of them. I don't think that would have KO'd, but it could have potentially Ooh. been a KO on Kyler Alice, who was out with a pickup right there again from Dummy. Wright's going to find himself a pickup here on uh, to, to Dummy as well, but Shadow does find a small punish there. Playing very carefully though, letting Dummy spawn in, even though it's just a 1v1 situation that seemingly could be equal, you see Shadow is very damaged, didn't want to get KO'd, a little bit of overlap there, a little bit of a flub on that option, immediately Dummy is ready, his follow-ups are so nice. Mm. Okay, get out of here with that. Picks him up, another one. Yeah, that's gonna, like, it doesn't matter where he was gonna go, man, like, I feel like this was just too hard of a... Um, of a comeback for them to make. So right, and Kyler Alice banging on the table is asking for more. They gotta, they gotta bring more to the table right now. I know that much. Now see, Outside of just this, uh, that taunts a little bit confusing because there's like that's like a full turkey in front of them, and they're still asking yeah. for more. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come, come on, finish what's on your plate first. You have a literal whole turkey that you have not touched. Now they could be asking for a beverage refill because those cups look real empty. And I mean. Yeah. Turkey can be dry around the holidays, depending on who is cooking it. So I, I, I take it back. This makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I like, you know, I like the, we're, we're really like really deciphering this, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, really going through like, well, I, now that I thought about it a little more. No, nah, this is a little crazy. It looks like we're waiting on Kyler to come back into the lobby. Kyler might be having some issues so far. He is back. But man, Shadow and Dummy are going off today. I, I can't even imagine what happened in the Clem and Shadowfish set earlier that went all the way to game five when they played him again and absolutely dominated them and then Shadow and Dummy come in and dominate here. They're forcing the double character swap. Kyler onto the Gruagok. There's some boars in this house and right onto Petra. Man, I... Mm. I like Petra. I like Petra Attitude. a lot. She's, she, you know, she's a, definitely a strong character. Uh, great weapons. Uh, I think uh, right now Gauntlets. That, that's a that's like a that's a hot weapon right now, ain't it? Yes, sir. So you know you got Gauntlets. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the orb, so this is definitely a character that I think could maybe do some damage. But uh, at the same time, though, I mean, it, it may not even matter what character you're picking with the teamwork right now of the blue team is looking like this. A 
almost gone Petra right there, though. Jesus. And that's one thing that we've also seen specifically from Riot's Petra is we've seen him be nasty on it, like he is right there, getting the KO. But we've also seen him be not so nasty on it. I'm hoping this game, if you're a fan of the red team, if you're a fan of Kyler and Riot and Kanga Esports, you're wanting a nasty right coming out of this. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that was nice. Let's go ahead and spike him down real quick. Not wasting any time on that one with the down air. Should get some good damage there. Oh, maybe looking for him to go just a little bit higher. But doesn't matter, though. Still got some good damage all the way into the yellow. And Kyler Alice does not. That's not Kyler. Yeah, Kyler's trying to get that hit on the shadow. Does not actually get it. Ooh, goes for the stomp reverse there. Dummy did not get hit by the day, or the stomp in quite the right spot for that down air to pick up. You stomp, go for the reverse on it. There is a KO, but it's a complete trade. Shadow goes down and right goes down. Three stocks to four. If they can get the KO onto Dummy, Dummy really seems like he's not afraid to play down there, even though he is very deep in the red. d like ground pound off of the soft platform. Dummy has the sword in hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. He was looking for him, but... No, he's going to go ahead and get straight out of there as he continues moving on. The up, uh, the recovery, not going to uh, work, but the neutral thing will definitely work. That nice sure you can send him packing. Now, this is, uh, I mean, actually an even game. The only, only thing is that this stock from Kyler Alice is very much in danger. And so is the stock from right, to be completely honest. Yeah, damage definitely favoring the blue team here. Shadow could be knocked out soon, especially if he goes for something big like that side signature. Unfortunately, right's Nair reaches and just puts him back on the main stage. Kyler is going to fall. Right has to fight the 1v2 for a second. Kyler comes in, giving him some relief, taking members of the blue team and throwing them away from his teammate, giving him safe passage over to the wall and the main stage. Gets the KO. Now they're looking for it on dummy, but unfortunately, right is going to fall. Kyler in the 1v2 situation hits the recovery. Chase Dodgers back onto the stage. Now he's in a much different spot here in this 1v2 than he was earlier when we saw him play a 1v2. So we could see him come out on top here, but man, Dummy and Shadow's follow-ups off of one another have been so slick. Look at that immediate punish on it. Ooh, okay, finally gets a hit here onto Dummy though. Swapping weapons too, I, I kind of feel like I was more inclined to stay with the uh, hammer, but honestly, both these weapons, you know, still gonna be good. Just felt like the, the range of that hammer was just a little safer. Here we go. Speaking of, guy actually got a hammer back right there. He's doing quite yes. well. Oh no! And right as I'm about to say, he throws out a haphazard sig, gets punished, gets sent out of this game, and now we're going to game three with Shadow and Dummy. A good lead right now. Kyler putting out 741 damage. Wright is going to have to step up the damage. Dunstad only putting out 209. At least he did take 600, so it was exactly 200 damage average per stock before his stocks fell. But man, he's going to have to set up that damage Dunstad. I mean, that's that's kind of been a right problem for a lot of his career. He has his games where he's nasty, but he's not consistently nasty. Meanwhile, we see Kyler Alice, man. He's coming out. He's putting up the big numbers. He's like probably one of the best 1v2ers in all of Brawl. Yeah. I mean, that was, outside of that SIG, he was pretty much playing that well. I think if that SIG was anything else, uh, he probably wouldn't have lost that stock right there, but I think he really wanted to bet something or really thought he had a read on uh, the way the dummy was coming down. So. Now going into game three, though, and he swapped out to another character. The Asuri is out now, so we're just going all over the, you know, high force, low force, big decks right here with the, uh, the Asuri. One good thing about Asuri, though, she does have a lot of spiking sigs. So, you know, if you end up getting uh, one of those neutral sigs to hit, yeah, you're going straight now. So when I was looking at the characters that Kyler uh, said he was going to be playing this weekend for both singles, or, or uh, this weekend for doubles and then next weekend for singles, his character pools for both were completely different. There was no overlap between the two. In twos, it was the Hattori, Taros, and Brynn. In 1v1s, it was a bunch of other characters that were none of the 2v2 picks. One of those was this Asuri, and we could be seeing right here why it was only a 1v1 character and not a 2v2 character. Taking a lot of damage very early on in this game, the most damaged in this game, 40 seconds, actually less than 40 seconds, and we almost see Kyler knocked out. Mm. Yeah, they, they are looking for these. I thought he was going to just throw it out right after that. You know, even hit your teammate would have been would have been able to take that stock. Sure, the double weapon toss. 
Unarmed uh, Heavy, not going to be able to, or Unarmed Recovery, sorry, not going to be able to take that stock. Almost tried to get it again. Another Unarmed Recovery. Shinobi, got him. All right. Oh. This is going to be the game. Right has been activated. Before he was going left, now we're going right. He does fall there. Somehow Kyler is the only one still on his first stock. Now he's going to fall. We have a dead even game here. Right in the 1v2 does take a nair. Some team damage comes out. A little bit of unarmed damage on him as well. Okay, cool. Okay, he's running away from him. Not going to find it. He's still, still moving though, man. He's definitely keeping himself away from the competition here. Oh. Okay, back to stage. It's gonna be a good, uh, good recovery right there for uh, Shadow. No one really uh, stopping. I think Dummy was kind of there to put a little pressure, or at least kind of appear to be putting some pressure up. But even so, Shadow taking quite a bit of damage. Only one in red right now. Though the, uh, I'll say the red team is, is, is getting close to it. So the, the split of damage as far as the team goes is relatively even. It's just who's gonna lose the stock first. Uh oh, Shadow. No help. To get back to the stage, but honestly, I'm surprised that he was able to do that. I feel, I feel like all of his options were expended. He should have known that that uh, air dodge was coming to the stage. So, does end up losing that stock anyway, though. Ooh, here comes Ryan with the bow on the edge. Finds another down air on the edge. Lasers that one in there. Right playing very well this game. Kyler doing a great job as well. Going to be a slight lead for the red team. Both members of the red team caught up in that. It wasn't there to KO. Ooh, Kyler going for the big play here. Dummy is just in the yellow, though, so it's going to take quite a lot for Kyler to find a KO on the edge. The neutral light from the wrong side of the stage still finds a KO, right? The only one on his second stock now in this game still finds damage. Neutral air hits a side air from Dummy on the wrong side of the stage. This time, Wright's going to stay alive, though. Oh, finds more damage on the Dummy there. Yeah, that was actually really smart from right there. He kind of he broke up that combo, and he made a little damage to Kyler Alice, but it was better from the break it up. Oh, wait a minute. Dummy is known to make some plays here. Oh, he oh. still finds the ground pound there. Almost oh my gets God. another one. Maybe he should have gone for the dare there. He, he really went for, like, the super KO move option, and I think a dare yeah. would have given him a little bit more room to play with, a little bit more room to react there, and Kyler and Wright are going to take the game when they were down 0-2 in the set. Look at right. You see him all the way on the left side of the screen putting out 554 damage. Good numbers from right. Good play from right. I mean, that was that again, the same situation happened where it's like, hey, bro, uh, maybe don't go so crazy off the stage. And <laughs> buff. He went crazy off the stage again. I mean, the first one was good, but the second ground pound, I don't know, that was a little suspect. And it ended up getting him uh getting him out of the game. So Unfortunate, but hey, as we keep moving, let's go ahead and get to our next game here. Ooh. Now, maybe uh, in this game, Dummy and Shadow want to put them into a position where he doesn't even have to hit the second ground pound, right? Because those tiny sidewalls on ship. Oh, oh, wow. He just, wow. Did he wow. just get an orange wow. KO? Are they going to get another one? Oh, even with the neutral God. signature missing, Dummy still finds the recovery off the top. And we're on shipwreck, TK. We're not on a normal map. Okay, this... This is this is the way you want to start. This is definitely the way you want to start. Now you got to keep this momentum up though, because sometimes people get this far ahead and they start playing a little lazy, and they uh, open, you know, they leave the door open for a comeback. There it is though. First stock gonna be gone off of the blue team or uh, for dummy. Shadow though, trying to live right here, right. And Kyler Allen's putting him to the side. Finally goes for the high recovery, but right, starting to clean it up. Okay. Ooh, dummy. Right. That was good. Oh, oh he, my god. You're kidding. How is he Dummy's finding everywhere. these? How is he finding these juggles that lead to KOs off the top? d comes out from right. That's going to be a KO, but a lot of damage was built onto that stock before he was able to get that KO. A lot of damage. So much damage has been put out by the blue team here. They're playing so well. Yeah, this is this is definitely Dummy, uh, dummy the Omnipotent right here. That boy is literally killing anywhere and everywhere effectively. So, got to give it up to him. I mean, if, again, sometimes he goes a little crazy, goes a little ham, and somehow, even with how good the blue team has looked, this game is about to escape them. Oh. They are about to be out of a league. What is going on? Oh, my on? God. What is going on? I can't wait to see Foda and TWK talk about that clip on Monday, esports death stream, twitch.tv forward slash for hall at 5 p.m. Eastern. That's just so many things happened in that one little cluster area. It was a pinball machine. Oh yeah, for sure.
For sure, for sure, for sure. Now, the real issue here. Are they going to be able to get a stock off in time? Oh, now they got everyone. They've got to work with it. Oh, but that was actually really got to get from right, though. Just to see if he was going to be trying to dash in on uh, Hasley. Does get the uh, the recovery, but not enough to bring him off the top yet. And this happened quite a bit for Dummy, actually. Oh, he's gets dead. His, uh, oh. oh ho, ho. You know Kyler saw that D-Light come out. He knew the Sair was coming. He was trying to find the interruption. Couldn't get it in time. The end of this game has gone back and forth between red team and blue team so quickly. Kyler needs the victory here if he wants to move on without having to play another game. It's certainly possible. It's Kyler, the 1v2 king. Shadow is in the yeah. red. Dummy is in the red. He needs a sword, though. He really needs a sword. You don't. You don't think. You don't think the uh, the guitars can do it. I just don't think it's what you want here. You got to find like a recovery. Even the yeah, unarmed recovery is still not going to K. No. There's no way he makes it back. Dummy comes in. Oh, dummy. Oh, uh, dummy? Why? Again, the ground pound, just wait for the dare. Wait for the dare. Still okay, goes in okay. with another ground pound to try and secure it. And that is going to be the set. Kyler and Wright are going to be finishing no further than third place as Shadow and Dummy move on into the grand finals. Wow, at that man! What a set. shadow and dummy. I mean, shadow. What a what a run right now for these peeps. They have been tearing it up in the loose side of things. Uh, a game five. Uh, the game five that might not not have went to a game five. Dummy's internet didn't decide to go dummy. But he, even with that, even with what could be demotivating, uh, still popping off. Still going for crazy plays. Still going for the high risk, high reward stuff. And when it w works, it works. And when it doesn't, I mean, it, it doesn't seem to be too big of a detriment for the team to at least get them uh, any losses, you know? It's definitely the dummy show for Shadow.